Hi everybody, this is Pat in the paper closet. I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've been here. It's been three weeks since I did a video. I'm still having problems with my YouTube analytics, but I'm going to continue on, see if they fix it. And I've also had, uh, for the last three weeks, in the last three weeks, I've had two floods in my basement. <laughs> We've had so much rain. I think I said on the weather last night that I think it was just in the month of March alone. We've had, I think, almost eight inches of rain. So it comes in, you know, two inches. And then the next one is three inches. Last one was two inches. So it's... It comes in under my house. We have underground streams. So nothing I can do about it. Nothing anyone can do about the weather. I just hope it stops. Tomorrow is supposed to be another two inches of rain. So we'll see what happens. But it was a matter of getting everything off the basement floor. But I didn't want to get wet. And then, well, I knew it was going to happen because we have an automatic pump in our basement. It goes off before the water comes in. It starts, you know, as the water level gets higher, the pump goes off and pumps it out from underneath the house. But then it gets to be too much and it starts seeping in along the floor. Then we have a semi-finished basement. We put up paneling, did the ceiling, put in lighting, and we put in carpeting. So now I'm trying to keep the carpeting dry, as dry as I can. So we, every time it happens, suck up all the water as much as we can. And then keep sucking up the water until it stops coming in and then get the carpeting good and dried out. Open the windows, put on the fans. And I just got it dry the other day from the last one and it happened again over the weekend. So now I'm back to getting it dried out. So that's where I've been. I do want to continue working on our Cozy Winter Days Junk Journal. And today we're going to be working on three different types of pages you can add to a finished journal. Any junk journal. Doesn't have to be this one. But see, I don't use my junk journals as journals. I'm not a daily journaler. I like to use them as photo journals. You've seen this page that I did. This is the one I'm working on. This is the one I'm putting photos in right now. This was the last layout that we did. So I like to do photo layouts, what I call. It's sort of like a scrapbook. But, so I print out the photos that I want to use. And then I figure out if they're going to fit on just a two-page layout or if I need to add more to it. And I like it just so that when you look at it, you know that these two pages are one layout with extra inserts. So it all goes together. This was the last one I did. I did do some journaling in here. I haven't finished yet. I'm going to put some more journaling on this little card that I added. This is called a photo flap. So this is not a full page, but we're going to do one of these type pages where it completely folds out. So you have one, two, three, actually four pages to work on with this one layout. It would still be the same two pages. That'll be one type that we'll do. And there are two others I'm going to show you. So I'm going to do them in the cozy winter days journal. I know this is another one that I would add photos to. And we got as far as adding the lace. And we did quite a few pages in here. We put some pockets. And I don't think I'm going to add much more because I'd rather add as I go along than ahead of time. Because I don't know what I want to use in these pages. So we're going to add three pages in here. And you can use them, like I said, in any journal that you have. Any junk journal. What I call a photo journal. 
All right, so the first one is going to be this, no, not this type. It's going to be the one I just showed you that flips out. So let me put that aside. All you're going to need is, now I have plenty of paper printed. I'm not printing anymore. I have leftover pages from the Cozy Days Journal, some from the Happy Days Journal. So all I need is my, I'm going to use my paper trimmer and my scoreboard. You don't need either. You can even just cut on your mat using the measurements with a craft knife. You can don't even need to score. You can just fold by hand. But this is what I'm going to use today. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use this page, this paper. I'm going to get my paper trimmer. Get everything out of the way. This was a thumbnail for this video. Now I'm going to cut this at, let me look, I have little notes in my notebook. This is also the notebook that I made, the 400 page notebook. There are videos on my channel on how to make this, it comes in very handy. I keep all my YouTube notes in here. So here I have for my extra pages. So we're going to cut this at four and three quarters by eight and a half. So it's going to be four and three quarter inches wide. Line that up. Turn that off. And it should be eight and a half. I'll make sure. Eight. No, too long. So I'm going to cut this to eight and a half. You could make it, if you want it, a little bit shorter than the actual pages in your book. This way it'll look more like it's a part of your layout. But I'm going to leave it at the size. So we got the four and three quarters wide. I'm going to score one score line. At three quarters of an inch. You don't need three quarters, you can make it half, you can even make it a quarter. I'm going to go with the three quarters on this one. And I'm going to put it on the right side of the paper, so this is going to be my folded edge. So I'm going to score that at four, since my paper is four and three quarters. You don't need that big of a fold, but it'll work on here. Put that away. That's the one I need that for. I'm going to fold this back on the fold line on the score mark. Give it a good crease. Of course, I've got my bone folder. Let's try my pen. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now, here we have our page. So I'm going to open up my book. And since I don't know what my next layout is going to be. And I'm going to find a page. It'll work on here very well. Make sure it's the same height as your page, which looks good. So you see what I mean? So you have this page. You would have this page to use. This will open up on the side. So you'll have this page and the inside of this page all to use in your one layout. So I'm just going to glue this down. I'm not using, um, what do you call it? A glue stick. I'm using liquid glue. My armors. I'm just going to put some on here. Not too much. This is copy paper. I don't want to soak it. But I want it fully covered up to the fold. Well, bear with me while I squirt out glue. Okay. I'll get my book and my page. I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to put the fold on the edge, but not over it. 
even top and bottom. Now don't press it down yet. I'm going to lift up my page a little bit so I can make sure I'm on the edge. There we go. Okay, looks good. I'm going to press it down. Now you could if you want, you could have it go over the edge of the page, but that would affect the next page you're working on. So I usually put it on the inside. And then you can cover it up with whatever you're adding to your page. You can decorate it up. So there we have an extra page added in to use on this one layout. So it's still a two page layout, these two pages, but it opens up to more. So that gives you more room. Now the second one I'm going to do, let me find the page I want to work on. Uh, something, let's see, I have blue plaid, I have, hmm, what else do I have here? And this. We'll use this blue paper, I think. Now we'll use the clear. Now here we're gonna make two separate holdouts that'll go on the end of each page here, this side and this side. Now you see I can't use this page because I have lace on that edge. So I'm gonna find another page. Let's see. Go toward the front more. Could use this. Has flowers on it, but that's okay. But we'll put it on this one. We need two edges. So we have that edge and this edge. No lace. So we're going to cut a piece for each side. We don't want it the full size of the page. We want it to be a partial page. I'm going to make this be three and a half inches. Plus, I'll do a half an inch for my fold over, for my hinge, and I'll need two of them. Three and a half, plus a half, that's four, and it'll be eight and a half inches long. So I'm going to cut this at four. Hang on while I get my paper cutter. I need more room. I said four inches by eight and a half. Now this is double sided, which is good. So the other side will be finished. I'm gonna cut this at four and a half. By eight and a half, which it already is. I know that, it's one of my pages. And we need another one. left over. Okay, so that's all we need the trimmer for. I'm going to get my scoreboard. And like I said, you don't need a scoreboard if you just put your pages on your mat, line it up with the lines, and you would score it at four inches. Just take your score tool and press down on it. But I'm going to do it on my scoreboard. So I'm going to do a half an inch on this one. I'm going to do this one at a half inch here. So this one will be the right side. This one will be the left side. I'm going to do a half an inch on this side. I hope I'm in the camera. Looks like I am. Okay, we're going to put this away. Okay, we're going to fold on the score lines. Make our hinge. There's one. 
Here's the other one. So this one's going to be the right side page. This one's going to be the left side page. So these are going to go on our pages like this. We're going to glue them down and then they're going to open up like this. Okay, so let's get the book. This one will go here, right along the edge. And this one will go on this side, right along this edge. And they'll both open up. So we're giving this more room. So I'm gonna put glue on this. Before, this is copy paper, so I'm gonna soak it. Like I said, I'm still having problems with my channel analytics. They still keep wiping out most of my views, like after 3 p.m. And then I get more views, and then they wipe out most of those overnight. So I don't know what's going on with it yet. Keep sending them feedback. That's all I can do. Hope they get it straightened out. All right, that's plenty of glue. I'll just line this up with this edge. This is our right hand side piece. Line up the fold with the edge of your paper, top and bottom side, and press it down. And then you have the right side that opens out. And now we're going to do the left side. Okay, I'm putting glue on this one. This is very simple to do. And it works out well, like I said, as you're working in your book, in your photo journal, when you need to add pages. You come across an event that has quite a few photos. You want to do some journaling with it. You want to add some memorabilia tickets or menu or something. So you have room to add it all just for that event. Okay, I'm going to line this up on the left-hand side. Top, bottom, and side. We don't want to fold over the page. Press it down. So there we have two pages. Two extra pages folding out. So we have this. This opens up you have this area, this page, this area, this area, and this area. All for one layout. We've decided you have, you know, ten photos, small photos of course. I usually do three by two and a quarter inch photos in these books. And it works out well. They fit nicely. And we have lots of room. And then you can decorate that as you wish. Now there's one more I want to show you. Uh, I'll put it on. This will work because I'm only working on this side so I can have lace over here. So we'll do this page. I'm going to use this paper. Now this one is going to fold up. So we don't want it the full width of the page because so we want it to look at you know part of our layout not as a separate page. So I think I'll make this one a quarter of an inch on that side. I'll make it four and three quarters and it's going to need a top flip, not a side flip. So this is four, I'll cut it at four and a half. Now four and three quarters. And this is already eight and a half so I'm going to take a half an inch off the top. Or actually, I'm going to score it at a half an inch. So again, we need the paper trimmer. Don't mind the noise. Okay, we're going to cut this at four and three quarter inches wide. Which is right there. You can see on the top of my cutter. 
make sure it's straight. One and three quarters. And we're not gonna trim anything off the length because we're gonna score it. So this is four and three quarters by eight and a half right now. I'm gonna turn it. And I'm gonna do a score at a half an inch. Either end doesn't matter unless your paper is directional and be careful. Mine is not. Doesn't matter which end is which. Okay, that's it for the scoreboard. Hold this back to the back of the page. You can use double sided paper here, it would work out well, but I didn't. It's white on the back. We'll decorate it up when I use it. Okay, that's our fold. Now I'm going to put it on our page. Now this one's going to go right at the top. The fold goes to the top so that it will flip upward. I'm going to put the glue on the back as before. Using a liquid glue. Not too much, it's copy paper, but enough to hold it. All to cover the entire back. Okay, now this is gonna go. This is the top of the book. I just want to turn this so I can see. I'm going to put the fold at the top of the book, even with the page. Let me pick it up a little bit. So I get the top even with the top. I'm pretty even on the sides. Press it down. Press down your hinge. And there you have an extra page to your layout. So this is still a two page layout, but you have this, you have this page, this flips up and you have the back of this page, and you have this page. So that gives you a lot more room. Okay, so those are three different types of pages you can add. Any junk journal, as I've said, I use them as photo journals. This is the cozy winter days that we've been working on. And I'll be back, I think the next video I'm gonna make some altered paper clips. That also allows you to add more room to your book by just clipping things onto the pages. We have some labels to add, so we'll put these in. And then we'll be done with this book. Okay, I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and the bell and all notifications and you'll be notified when the next video is up when we will make the altered paper clips so thank you for coming thank you for coming back and i'll see you soon bye